This is Investment Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Daily live streaming interactive featuring Mrs. Backup. Subscribe, hit the notification, smash the likes. Now, here's Backup Brad Kimes. Come on in. Welcome back to Investment Perspectives, everybody. I wanted to make a quick video to let you know there is some exciting information that is on the cusp here. So there is the stimulus bill that is on the floor with the House that still needs to be passed through, right? Still needs to be put through. But if you ever wanted to understand that the government never lets a good crisis go to waste, this is your moment right here to find that out because... Obviously, the current health event is a very, very real crisis. It's a very real situation, as is the global liquidity crisis and the economic collapse and systemic shutdown we've been witnessing all over the world and now domestically here in the United States. Let's take a look at this. This is the HR bill that's on the floor for the stimulus to provide financial protections and assistance for American America's consumers, states, businesses, and vulnerable population during the current health event and to recover from emergency. As we scroll down, we clearly see that what they're taking apart here and talking about is a digital dollar. And the term shall mean a balance expressed as a dollar value consisting of digital ledger entries that are recorded as liabilities in the account of any Federal Reserve Bank or an electric unit of val- electronic unit of value redeemable by an eligible financial institution as determined by the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System. Number two. A digital dollar wallet. The term digital dollar wallet shall mean a digital wallet or account maintained by a Federal Reserve Bank on behalf of any person that represents holdings in an electronic device or service that is used to store digital dollars that may be tied to a digital or physical identity. Member bank. The term member bank means a member bank of the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System. Pass-through digital dollar wallet. The term pass-through digital dollar wallet means a digital wallet or account maintained by a member bank on behalf of a qualified individual where such qualified individual is entitled to a prorate share of a pool reserve balance that the member bank maintains at any Federal Reserve Bank. This is really, really exciting, guys. What we're seeing here, and no, Ripple XRP is not written in this bill at all. What I'm excited about is the fact that every American is about to get digital dollars for their paper dollars, and you are about to get a digital dollar wallet. And this is going to bring 350 plus million Americans into the digital realm. They will now have a very easy to use digital wallet that allows them to participate and buy crypto. This is the first in mass on and off ramp for cryptocurrencies. We are officially legitimized the moment this goes through. And I know that we are anyway, but from the consumer public side from Main Street, this is absolutely going to go to another level. You were talking about the on and off ramp for the rest of the country to be able to easily enter crypto. What do we mean exactly by that? Well, what we mean exactly by that is this. Let's take a look here. First of all, thank you to Spencer H. We're going to talk about this in just a second, but I want to get down here to what Cryptopolis has shared on Twitter recently about 40 minutes ago. And this is really what you need to understand. Shout out to Cryptopolis. I cannot wait for Friday morning show. 
Okay, so here it is in simple here, and we're going to look at these things, but he lays it down exactly the way it is. When the bill passes, every U.S. bank account will have a pass-through digital asset wallet. And if you don't have one, you can use the digital wallet ATMs at the United States Postal Service branches. Come on in. Pass-through digital wallet, the terms pass-through digital wallet means a digital wallet or account maintained by a member bank on behalf of a qualified individual where such qualified individuals is entitled to the pro rate share, which we just read, pool reserve that member bank maintains uh, and at any Federal Reserve Bank qualified individual defined the term qualified individual means any individual other than non-resident alien individual in geographic areas where physical access to a branch of Federal Reserve Bank is limited Federal Reserve Bank serving such areas shall partner with United States Postal Service branch offices to ensure access and availability to application and account services for digital wallets. Whoa! Shall provide, in conjunction with the United States Postal Service, access to automate teller machines to be maintained on behalf of the board by the United States Postal Service at branch offices. How's that sitting with you now? We are in a transformation. We will never return after this moment takes place to what we know as the crypto space. We are speculators in this market. We are pioneers in this space. What we are witnessing is a bill that is going to normalize and legitimize the entire digital asset space. This is so exciting because of what it means for crypto as a whole. The moment is here. We are about to take the second foot and cross the threshold. This is absolutely incredible time. Now, I don't want to stop there because we have some other things to remember. Now, remember, we've covered on this channel that everything comes from the international level and the global consortiums in a global coordinated collective effort and then down to the domestic level. That's exactly what we're witnessing here. Remember back at the World Economic Forum when we saw that XRP is the settlement option with the JPM coin, which will no longer be an option now that the Fed is going to have a digital dollar. The head of blockchain from JP Morgan said to Julia Chatterley, on CNN, if the Fed has a dollar, a digital dollar, JPM coin will drop theirs. This now leaves XRP as the only option as a neutral asset to be settlement in between inter and intra bank payments and settlements for central bank digital currencies. This is the policy toolmaker kit from the World Economic Forum. Then we get this bill, and they'll tell you it is because of the current health crisis. It is a very real situation. I'm not trying to minimize that. However, this has been the plan all along. Only now, the narrative won't need to be that we've broken the system, and we need to change over to a digital system because we've broken it, and we need to create assets that we can collateralize against because we've dug a hole that we cannot fill. Oh no. Now the narrative will be, we've created digital dollars so you can get rid of your paper money because there's germs on it. And we did it for you. And that's why we had to get four plus trillion in a shot of liquidity to the major banks because they've taken on the hurt for all of us. It's important, I think, to understand that these two narratives are happening at the same time because this digital realm has been in play for so very long. I want to share a tweet with you really quickly here before we move to the next piece of information.
David Schwartz, 10 hours ago, my despicable opponents have used the tragic suffering this virus has caused as an excuse to say we must do all the things that they've always wanted us to do. In fact, the virus proves that we must do all the things that I've always wanted us to do. That is exactly what I've been saying, and now David Schwartz has come right out and said it. Never let a good crisis go to waste, isn't it? Just like DAI showed us with the globalist agenda, right? So there it is. Now, one another thing to take in mind here. Ordered liquidation authority and bankruptcy reform. This comes from Spencer H. And let me just show you his tweet so you can follow him. Spencer is a great source of wealth of knowledge here in the Twitter community. Here he is right here. Thank you, Spencer. Spencer and I discussed this months ago. Months ago. This is a report that was put together about the Orderly Liquidation Authority and Bankruptcy Reform from 2018. When you go down into this, and I'm not going to read this entire thing, but I'm just going to show you what's going on here. Statutory Framework of Orderly Liquidation Authority, Single Point of Entry Strategy, Preparing for Resolution Post-Crisis Developments. International Considerations Analysis and Recommendations and Enhanced Bankruptcy Regime for Financial Companies. The New Chapter 14 Bankruptcy Process. Challenges for Chapter 14 Bankruptcy. Reform of Orderly Liquidation Authority providing for clear rules administered with impartiality. Ensuring market discipline and strengthening protection for taxpayers. Strengthening judicial review. Now, within this, they have it set up that there is an emergency bankruptcy and you are able to, if you're a large corporation or bank, you are able to file bankruptcy within like a 24-hour, 24 or 48-hour window of time that will allow them to clear their balance sheets or to clear their, their debt, right? This is quite interesting because this is as far back as 2017 in this document. Here we see the report, executive summary for the president, issued an executive order prescribing seven core principles. Now, this executive order, 13772, is tied in to this report. You can see right here. 13772, which is the executive order about digitizing and modernizing government. Now, you tell me, you tell me that we're supposed to understand that there was no financial crisis. It's all because of a current health event. Yet, there wasn't a current health event when they wrote this report in April of 2017. There wasn't a current health event when they put out the executive order in 16-13772. Or when they released the report in 2018. But somehow now we find ourselves here with the stimulus on the floor that all of this is happening because of this. Oh, I don't think so. There are two events taking place, and I believe it is just as I've been saying, and I don't think I could say it any better than David Schwartz said it. My despicable opponents have used this tragic suffering this virus has caused as an excuse to say, we must do all the things that we've always wanted us to do. They've always wanted us to do. In fact, this virus proves that we must do all things that, we've, that I've always wanted us to do. 
you just can't say it any better. My heart goes out to anybody that's impacted by this health crisis that's going on. And I wish everyone happy health, good wealth and health. I want everybody to be safe. I know we're doing the best we can here to stay safe ourselves. Remember this too shall soon pass. And I can tell you that this is very exciting and it is a process and it also still needs to be passed. But if this is the conversation for stimulus, it's also the conversation for a new digital world. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. And if you like the content, please share this with your social platforms or anybody that you know that would be interested. Let's broaden the conversation and keep this thing going. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.